be the last one. Or yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to ask Mr. Webb and the Vice President to give some decorations to those who participated, not in the capsule with Major Cooper, but who helped make the flight possible. Mr. Webb, who's the director of the space program. Yes. I'll stand on the other side, Mr. President, so yes, you can stay there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration is proud today in view of the outstanding contributions of the Mercury team and the great services to this program provided by our military services to make a number of awards. The first one is to Mr. G. Merritt Preston, the award of the NASA Medal for Outstanding Leadership for his outstanding leadership in the preparation and checkout of the spacecraft for space flight missions of the United States in Project Mercury to be delivered by the President. Mr. Christopher C. Kraft. Second award of the Na National Aeronautics and Space Administration Medal for Outstanding Leadership to Christopher C. Kraft for his outstanding leadership in the planning and operational control of the space flight missions of the United States in Project Mercury to be delivered by the President. <laughs> to Mr. Floyd L. Thompson, Director of the Langley Research Center of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Mr. Thompson. <laughs> Mr. President, you've met Mr. Thompson, who conceived this program in the early beginning. This is the National Aeronautics and Space Administration Medal for Outstanding Leadership to Floyd L. Thompson for his outstanding leadership of the scientists and engineers who were responsible for the original technical concepts and who comprised the nucleus of the development team for the space flight missions of the United States in Project Mercury to be delivered by the President. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Mr. Kenneth S. Kleinkenek. You know the President, Kleinkenek. This is the National Aeronautics and Space Administration Medal for Outstanding Leadership to Kenneth S. Kleinkenek for his outstanding leadership in managing the development of the spacecraft for the extended space flight missions of the United States in Project Mercury to be delivered by the President. Congratulations. General Layton L. Davis. You know General Davis, when we were at Cape Canaveral. It is with particular pleasure that I read the citation for General Davis in view of the great flight of the distinguished Air Force major and astronaut and the fact that General Davis has been personally responsible from the very uh, early stages of the successful extended flight missions. This is the National Aeronautics and Space Administration Medal for Outstanding Leadership to Leighton L. Davis for his outstanding leadership in planning and implementing the support of the Department of Defense to the space flight missions of the United States and Project Mercury to be delivered by the President. This is a Group Achievement Award to the Air Force, the Space Systems Division, for managing the development and the launching of the Atlas boosters used in the space flight missions of the United States in Project Mercury. It's, I will present it to Major General Ben I. Funk, the Commanding Officer of the Air Force Space Systems Division of Englewood, California, who will accept it. <laughs>
This is the Group Achievement Award to the Department of Defense, the Recovery Forces, for outstanding achievements in the planning, the direction, the execution of recovery operations throughout the world in support of the space flight missions of the United States in Project Mercury. This will be received by Rear Admiral Harold G. Bowen, Jr., Chief of the Cruiser Destroyer Flotilla No. 4, Norfolk, Virginia, accepting the NASA Group Award. First, uh, perhaps we could have all the uh, people here who have uh, flown in space to come down here. Commander <laughs> Shepard, Mr. Carpenter, some of the others. Would you all come down and join us? <laughs> this is a very small, exclusive group. Delighted to welcome them and their wives. John Glenn is uh, visiting Japan, but uh, I know he's uh, with us in spirit. We've had a number of these ceremonies at the White House and at Cape Canaveral to pay tribute to a very distinguished uh, group of Americans who have, in our time, in this rather settled society, demonstrated that there are uh, great frontiers still to be crossed, and in flying through space have carried with them the wishes, the prayers, the hopes, and the pride of 180 million of their fellow countrymen. We're delighted to honor today the most recent of this uh, very exclusive group, Major Cooper, who uh, went furthest in space and did so on the anniversary of Charles Lindbergh's flight to Paris. Charles uh, Lindbergh took approximately the same time to go about one 150th of the distance of Major Cooper. Both flights were equally hazardous both were equally daring. I think uh, one of the things which uh, warmed us the most during this flight was the realization that however extraordinary computers may be, that we are still ahead of them and that man is still the most extraordinary computer of all. His judgment, his nerve, and uh, the lessons he can learn from experience still make him unique and therefore make man flight necessary and not merely that uh, of uh, satellites. I hope that uh, we will be encouraged to continue with this program. I know that a good many people say, uh, why go to the moon? Just as many people said to Lindbergh, why go to Paris? Lindbergh said, it's not so matter of matter of logic as it is a feeling. I think that uh, the United States has committed itself to this great adventure in the 60s. I think before the end of the 60s, we will see a man in the moon, to the moon, an American. And I think in so doing, it's not merely that we're interested in making this particular journey but we are interested in demonstrating a dominance of this new sea and making sure that in this new great adventurous period that the Americans are playing their great role as they have in the past. Most of all, we're very proud uh, of Major Cooper and his family, and we're very proud that our country continues to produce uh, these uh, young men who go so far uh, and uh, carry with them so much. So, Major, we're glad to welcome you and your mother here and your wife, your two children, and we'll tell you that uh, you've given the United States a, a great day and a great lift. says his outstanding flight demonstrated man's ability to conduct engineering and scientific investigations in orbital space flight and added significantly to man's knowledge of space technology. That's a very technical way of uh, saying it, but uh, it uh, says all we want to say. Thank you very much. I, I didn't really have much to say, and after that, all I can say is that it certainly is a great honor to be invited here and to be presented this award. And thank you all very much.
You got to show more. Right. 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 Right.